If you follow reality shows in the past or present, you might have encountered wacky personalities that stick with you. People that are starving for attention. There are multiple examples, but if I have to pick one person that left me with eyes wide open and a lot of questions unanswered, then I will choose Ashley Taylor. You may have seen her in Catfish, and again, in Catfish, she was there twice, and then Ashley decided to terrorize Dr. Now of my 600 pound life with her whole lot of attitude. I try to give empathy to everyone, so here I am, wondering why Ashley is like this, what happened to her, and how can we learn from her life and mistakes. Was it all for cloud, or was it a cry for attention that nobody heard? I guess you will be the judge. As in every video, the links are going to be in the description so you can check them out unadulterated by my opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like, it really helps. Let's start with some background she told in my 600 pound life episode. When Ashley was a child, she was abandoned by her father, leaving her with a mother that was suffering from epilepsy. Mom and grandmom were there for Ashley, loving her and pushing her to success. But no matter how much they protected her, danger was just right next door. In her twin years, she was assaulted by a neighbor. Ashley also endured a lot of bullying because of her rapid weight gain throughout her childhood and her family situation. Her mom's health got worse, so they had to send her to an epilepsy facility where Ashley stayed as well. And to add more, her grandmother died when she was 20. It was just too much for her, so she found comfort in food. And that wasn't all. At 12, she began talking to people online, but just not as herself, but as someone else. Over the years, she collected profiles and the people attached to them. Cut to the first catfish episode. A lot of the profiles that Red has been talking to for the past six years are fake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Shekinah, Tamar. Me, 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 me. Right, I just want to make sure I know all of them. How many? Uh -huh. Are there some that we don't even know about? Well, yeah. And are you doing this to anybody else? Of course. Oh, my God. Things were looking grim because it seems she took the whole experience like a joke or as if it wasn't that important and was shocked when people didn't want to follow her style. So it was nobody's surprise that she did it again. This one was more emotional because the catfish team, after learning they were dealing with Ashley again, turned it into an intervention. And the team was prepared with a nuke. They found some of Ashley's best friends, Mika and Derek. They were not happy. Oh, damn. My is right Come on in. No, 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 no. They love you and care about you. We brought some people here from your life. Mm, that's an animation. Yes. Kind of. You set me up. I love you, but I'm not finna sit here and applaud your bullshit because I know you're better than this. The whole point of being on this show is for these people to get their answers, not for you to come in here and make this a joke and act like this isn't hurting them and like you're just completely deep down okay with what you're doing to these people. What about your real life? Not this person you're pretending to be. All this effort you putting into all these lies, you could put it into finding yourself a real husband, not one that you gotta lie about. Yeah, the smile's gone now, isn't it? I'm asking you why. Why you couldn't be yourself? That's one question. He just asking one. This is a joke. I'm bad. I'm sorry. But That's not a is. joke. You wasted yeah, seven years this. of this young man's life. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Then what not. you come Hold on. Hold on. Hold if on. You I'm not doing this. Doing this boy. It's not boy. I'm not doing this. Well, again, history repeats itself because the outcome of all of this was not looking good. She was straight up in denial and angry because of the whole confrontation slash intervention. When pressed with the truth, she broke down and ran towards the bathroom. It's interesting and sad, of course, how when talking to random people, she has this harsh outside personality, but when two of her closest people are trying to understand what she's doing, she collapses. This is all a facade. One, she's been using to have some human interaction and to escape her reality. She created a reputation within reality TV contestants and there are plenty of compilations depicting her as aggressive and unlikable. She decided to hop on my 600 pound live and tackle her weight issue or her attention seeking cravings, who knows. She started strong by claiming she weighed 630 pounds but lost 150 with hard work and diet. Kinda saying this to Dr. Now so he will automatically accept the surgery. 
he didn't buy it. But I'm concerned about a few things. One is your lack of weight loss because you are 475 today, yes, which is pretty much no progress. I've been having problems with my mom also. I've been having family problems too. With your mom about what? Because she's been a little sick. So what does this have to do with not losing weight? Because I'm her only child. i got to be there for my mom. So you want to discuss that with the scale? That doesn't matter to me. I know what I did. What is your objective with this program and saying you want to do this if you're not going to try and lose weight? I want to get some I want to get weight loss surgery and lose the weight and just be more healthier. I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow and let my people draw my blood because I know my veins. And the lady that I go to get my blood drawn, and she always finds it. So I'd rather just have her do it and I can just have them sing all the stuff. I'm going to go to them tomorrow when I get up. Okay, so let me understand that. You don't understand. You don't trust her to do your blood test, but you trust her to do weight loss surgery on you? No. <laughs> okay, if we are not able to do your workup, we're not able to get your blood, and we're not able to do anything, how are we going to do your surgery? I'm not going to have some, some stranger draw my blood. I told you that I was going to have my lady draw my blood, and I was going to send it over here. If, that's, if you're not comfortable with that, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, my God. I need a minute because this is going all wrong and I'm trying to be respectful, but this is just... So right now, there's nothing wrong with your eating habit? No, because it's like now, like I've rarely been eating nowadays. I don't know what's going on. You know what? Y'all ready to go? Because I'm not doing this. I'm not. He's not going to talk to me like I'm crazy. I've been on the road all day to come to this appointment. And you're not going to disrespect me. I've been nothing but nice to your ass. You're not going to do me like that. You know, y'all ready to go? Because I'm ready to go. She later went to a therapist where we could see a little bit more of her emotions, or lack thereof. So just so that I'm clear, you're saying that you participated in catfishing people? Yeah, I did. And that your family got some backlash from one of your online personas? Exactly. Were there more than one? Did yeah. you have any other personas? Yeah, it was 3,000. You had 3,000? Yeah, it was 3,000 personas. Can you tell me what some of these personalities represented for you? Some of them represented fun, some of them represented sadness, some of them represented madness. What portion represented madness? What percentage? 10% of my heart had madness in it. <clears throat> okay. And what percentage represented sadness? Mm, 50%. 50%. 1% represented peace. 1%? And the rest was just fear. You're describing a psychotic break. That's a break from reality because your real life was too much to cope with. So this is a woman who is struggling with herself. Ashley has so much self-hatred that she has this uncontrollable need to become somebody else and act upon it. And not only that, but because she is also filled with rage, she humiliates, degrades, and abuses others just to feel better about her life. Like a kid who's pretending to be tough, but you can see the tears almost bursting out. Well, she didn't lose the weight, nor had the surgery. She did promise to change her life for the better. The update is not a lot. She left social media and there was this rumor she was dating Tammy Slayton's ex-boyfriend. Who knows? Overall, I think she is starving for attention. The attention she needed as a child, the dad and healthy mom she didn't have, and lots of childhood friends and a safety environment she didn't get to enjoy. I don't think she's evil because she wants to. She has a harsh exterior because she has battle scars. And those scars grew thicker with every heartache. Wishful thinking? I hope she found some insight and got therapy. And she's not giving updates because she took a break from the internet. I hope Ashley realizes that she can actually reconcile with her past and learn it wasn't her fault. She has people that love her in the present and understand she can be happy if she let bygones be bygones. Reality tells me she is catfishing again. So we are probably going to see another catfish episode with her. Maybe? Hopefully not. But if you are dating right now, you might be in it. Before you leave, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't and tell me why in the comments. And now that you're here, subscribe to the channel. You are more than welcome here. Thank you for watching.